Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be playing Disco Elysium. This is a game that I've heard a lot of good things about, but I've never gotten around to actually playing it. And today we're going to change that. I don't know much about the game, don't know much about the story or anything like that, so mostly we're going to be flying blind, but hey, let's just stop talking about the game and just play the game. Huh, okay, select archetype. Thinker, extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas. Uh, five, uh, intellect, um, psyche is one, physique is two, motorics is four, okay. Sensitive, uh, very psychological, uh, very psychological, a magnetic personality, but unstable, might begin to lose his mind, okay. One intellect, um, five psyche, um, four physique, um, and two motorics. Physical, extremely physical, interacts with the world through the body, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Okay. Um, not sure which one is the best here. Just gonna go with the first one, the thinker. Again, I don't know how important those stats are going to be. I mean, probably pretty in, uh, pretty important, but I don't know which ones are the most, you know, the most uh, commonly used. So I'm just going to go with the first one. Let's just do that. All right. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown you. Okay. Begin. There is nothing, only warm primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it, no larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Okay. Ever. Love ever, to hear it. Ever. Okay, I'm. Um I think we're not gonna stick with not existing, and never, we're gonna say something. Never, ever, baby. Okay, let's just not exist. And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. This is great. Give me some more. What was that about the ex-something? Um, let's just An talk about that. Creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle, soaking in some lurid acidic source, its bloated and shameful a ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. Um, yeah, I, I think we're gonna just start waking up, I guess. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into the fathomless deep again. Ex-love. Ex-tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of a logic zone. Allons si, never let me go, or uh, no, I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Yeah, I th that's Do life, isn't really? it? Don't be naive, of course not. I want to sail the inky blackness until forever ends, or I do, let me off. We're gonna go with the second like one. I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself, got a bit carried away, did we, chef? Wait, I did this to myself? Tell me what's waiting for me? I don't care, I'm an idiot, a brave idiot. Um, I like the third option. Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. A sensation. Well, that's good to hear. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. 
the limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. Uh, please, no, I changed my mind. Take me back to the formless, disembodied nothing. Now nah, we're waking up, I'm telling you. echo rises from your mouth. I know that an ungodly headache. Help someone. Cut my head off. It's trying to murder the rest of me. Or, uh, who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? Um... Let's question fiery things. Streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound, a clarion call from hell. Yeah, I can hear it. Some I can hear it. You know what it is. A caprice can name a motor carriage. Okay, let's open our eyes then. Oh wow, that's loud. I'm gonna turn it down a bit. Oh, there we are. What a nice home we have. Wait. Ah, okay. So we can look around, click all sorts of things. Ah, there's a tie on there. Let's let's get the pants on first. Yeah. Don't know what that is, but we're going to take the jacket. What's in here? Let's, I mean, let's just take a look, right? What does that do? You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare-cut pants. Let's it's fish them out. Whirling in racks on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. All right. The whirling in rags is a hostel cafeteria on the urban coast, frequented by dock workers. Okay, good to know. Uh, good to know. What else is there? Oh yeah, it stinks. Okay. I can believe that. I truly can believe that. Uh, okay, let's take the... let's take the shirt. We can't click that. Okay. Anything else in here? We can click that. A real fast walker, aren't we? What's down there? Okay. Empty cassette case. Sure. Let's try to fish the tie from the uh, ventilator. This fan or has ceiling two fan. training pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Grab the tie. Um... Okay, so um, I guess that's our odds at succeeding with that. We could pull on the fan, we could pull on the light bulb, or we could leave. Let's just go for it. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. You love to hear it. It's released from the blade. Awesome. What you have in your head is a truly hideous thick tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Marvelous. Okay, let's see. Can we turn on Terrible the light? Mistake. Oh, yeah. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Oh, yeah. The With a are off. With a hangover, I guess turning on the lights wasn't a good idea. Uh, let's the blades come squeaking see. to a halt. Let's see. Okay. That's probably better. What do we have here? Well, it's empty. Okay, so we're not gonna have another drink. Okay, tearing out the tape is probably not the best solution to wanting things to be more quiet, but hey, if it works, it works. Some shoes. Oh, just one shoe. Right, we're gonna... 
have to find the second one as well, I guess. Okay, it's rolling empty. Yeah, I think turning it off would be a good idea, but... Oh. Ah, okay, I can walk with WASD as well. Good to know. Is there a second shoe somewhere? Um... I can't see one, to be honest. Let's see. No, I... I don't see one. Did we... Drop it outside? At some point? I mean, we might have, honestly. Given the state that this guy seems to be in. Um, yeah, I, th I think it could be anywhere, really. Let's just go outside, then. Alright. What do we have here? Is there a shoe somewhere? Have you seen my shoe? Hello, officer. Let's talk. Why not? The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Her eyes are brown, and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Right. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor, sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the city. Uh, officer, my military personnel, um, turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep on walking. Let's just talk. Uh, no. Uh, okay, um, wait, I know, I'm a businessman, chief executive officer, right? Then why did you call me an officer? Okay, so we're, uh, we have amnesia. I mean, I know that, or at least I think, I've, I've heard that this guy is, um, like a policeman or something, so I guess that's what it's referring to, but yeah, let's, let's just go along the with it. The woman shakes her head slowly. Okay. Officer could be an artistic statement, a claim to official renown. Officer is my stage name, right? I can see myself as a middling disco artist called The Officer. That's too wild. Chief Technical Officer is what I am. <laughs> All right, uh, let's, let's go with no, the second one. You're a police officer, sir. Are you sure? You're shitting me. Goddamn right, I'm a policeman. And don't you forget it. Um, let's go with the first one. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. All you've this been time? Here for three days on official police business, no less. Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. You have no doubt about the drinking. But do you strike yourself as a tight lit drunk? She must have heard something. I might, I might not know where I am, or who I am, or what a uh, Kupri uh, Kinema is. I don't know that either, to be honest. Um, how I know what one sounds like. Okay, so we know... Okay, we know that we heard one, we just don't really know how we know and what it is, okay? Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in the right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Challenging 12? Oh. I don't think we're gonna go for that one. Try the expression on her. Uh, let her know you want her physically. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I should get going. Okay, um, let's go with the first she one. That sounds fun. Um, but I do know when someone's not telling me the whole story. What am I doing here? What's my case? Okay, let's There's just go for it. There's a mercenary out back. He's been hanged. The body has been there for a week now. The locals probably got tired of it and called the cops. And why didn't you just I tell didn't me that? I didn't to overwhelm you with information. You seem a bit... lost, officer. I might, but... Okay, we've said that before. Okay, so we're, we're circling back around to other options. Um, why don't I remember... Uh, let's go for Could this one. Could it be because of the drinking? She hasn't had time to put her... Yeah. <laughs> this is her morning cigarette. She looks tired. 
her beauty waning faster than it ought to at her age. Okay, let's just Don't say be so that too. Harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. I mean, that's that's true. That's true. I'm not gonna do that because I don't really want to. Uh, so I'm gonna get going of now. Course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Yeah, fair. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need. The need to ask questions. It's like you've said the words a million times before. Okay. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. What if I don't want to ask questions? Before you go, I have some questions for you. Like, is that just going to be the, the same questions we already had? I don't know. Let's yes. Just... Was, what is it that they have against uh, the police here? Where exactly is here? Where am I? Tell me what year it is. Your room is almost, uh, almost next to mine. Did you hear anything last night? Okay, you can go now. Um, Where exactly is here? Where am I? Hostel, sir. No, where are we? Where in the world? We are in Revachol. Okay. Does not ring a bell. Revachol is the disgraced okay. former capital of the world, divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. Half a century after a failed world revolution, she is central to our moment in time. Okay, that explains why I don't know about it. It is fictional. Okay, uh, should that mean something to me? A uh, Ravishol forever? How about you tell me something else instead? Should that I'm mean sure something it to me? like you're from Ravishol. Ravishol parties. Her accent suggests she is not from around here. She's from Aranier, another part of the world. Is that in, in the Netherlands? That sounds Dutch. Okay, uh, what year is it? 51. Okay. The current century. And that's what? What number? Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. And this is the current one. How many centuries have there been then? Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. What's so funny? You're right. There is nothing funny about civilization. Okay. Um, let's just ask the about that. The workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. Okay. Did you hear that anything? The usual ruckus. Loud disco music. I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Okay. Oh, yes. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. Okay, let's see, um... Oh, that. Yeah. Whoa. The less said about O.O., oh, oh, the better. Alright. O.O. Oh, oh, were huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course. Like, seven. Life gets hard, but we go on. Uh, yeah, we go I on, alright. about that. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped, and there was a change of pace. Okay, what happened a then? sad song started playing, like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you were yelling along to it. Was I singing this? Show her the empty case of the uh, of the smallest church in Saison. I don't. Is that how you pronounce it? I I don't know French. Um, what was I singing? I've heard enough. Yeah, let's show her that. Yes, there was a church in there. A really small church. Like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. It was about that. And also... Okay, what else was it about? it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself was very quiet and soft, but... You sounded like a winded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. I'm sorry, or when you say wounded, do you mean that in a cool way, like wild beast? Um, then what happened? Um, yeah, let's just then move along. Then you started screaming and trashed the place. 
Are you sure I wasn't being assaulted? That's so me. What did I do? You're making this up. I would never behave like that. Um, let's ask about that. No. It didn't sound like there was a fight. It sounded like someone was trashing their room. I mean, it certainly looked like it. A window was smashed. The tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think uh, you passed out. Was there anything else? Please tell me there wasn't anything else. It prides me to hear this. Tell me there was more. Uh, let's go for the second one. I think that's a more reasonable option. There okay. was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. Uh, yeah. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. And that was it. Okay. Uh, let's go then. Glad to have been of assistance. Alright. Let's see what else there is. It's March. Alright. What's here? Just an ashtray? Okay. It's still smoking. What do we have here? Is that a menu of sorts? Okay, it's a news tape, uh, newspaper. Oh boy, there's a lot of French in this. Trent le, le Mans, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, we still have one shoe only. Okay. Um, tools, clothes, items, interact. Okay, so uh, we can't use the. Uh, we can't use the. The newspaper, I guess. Oh, wow. We have, okay, encyclopedia. Oh, there's a lot to that, isn't there? Okay. Um, okay, we can le uh, level that sort of thing up. Okay, I see some things relate to certain stats and, okay, okay, that makes sense, good. Um, anything else? How do we get out of that again? Clicking it again. Okay, good. Perfect. Um, anything else here that would be useful? The door. The door is closed. I'm gonna try that. This door hand. can only be opened with a key or from the inside. Okay. There is no answer. All right you then. Hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. Still no answer. Still nothing. <laughs> I think we're gonna we're gonna knock the door down um, if we keep going. Yeah, let's let's go. I think there's not anything that's gonna happen here. And I think anything else we can't admire the picture. Nothing to do with the plants. All right, let's head downstairs then. Ah, another person to talk to. Ah, there's... I've seen pictures of that guy, I think. If it's the same guy I'm thinking about, at least. Okay, what do we have here? That's what lyrics would be. A big old karaoke mic, just waiting for someone to sing into it. Okay. The speaker is connected to the radio. The music is seasoned with static. Okay, let's talk to the bartender the man then. In his late twenties, stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Okay. Everything is cool between you and this guy. He's a big fan. Make some small talk. Ah, oh, okay. He he. I assume he does not like me, then. Um, I'm gonna look at the a stuffed bird. work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. All right, Looks then. Like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. This is the okay. good skewer. 
The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola, the part of the world you are in right now. Insulindian Isola, okay. I'm gonna try to remember that, but I might fail. The small steel tag says as much. The great skua. Stekoarius skua. Alright, then, uh... Let's pretend to be smart. Why not? Seems like something I, uh, or at least the character would do. Look, your buddy is over there. Okay. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? Um. He pretends not to hear you. Oh, he really doesn't like me, doesn't he? Uh, does he? Are you the no, bartender? I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Oh, big shot. He's very animated all of a sudden. This seems like a touchy subject. Let's let's not wind him up anymore, you know. I, I don't know about I don't know about the game, it might have consequences if I if I annoy the if I annoy the guy constantly, so let's just mm -hmm. move on. Um Alright then. What does that you mean? Totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. My soul is modest. It's normal sized. My soul is puny. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. Uh, let's not dwell on that for too long, shall we? Um, what do we have here? All right, Monday's on the menu. A woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today's uh, starts in a man's handwriting. Okay. This is a water cooler. A large bubble is rising to the surface. The door is bolted. A sign reads kitchen reserve personnel until 13. So 1 p.m. Okay. The soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. All right. Inside you catch a glimpse of a union paraphernalia, a strike poster, some red pennants. Wonderful. A sign reads, mess hall reserved for union members, store opens at 4 p.m. Do we have here seating opportunity, maybe? Oh, it's a, <laughs> yep, definitely a seat. It's a pinball machine. All right then, anything on the tables that we could interact with or are we just gonna start talking now i think the time to talk has come hello sweetie you shouldn't keep your colleague waiting okay she doesn't want to talk that's fine too let's talk to him then a bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor looks like he's waiting for someone you all right as you approach he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. All right, let's see what on we can say here. On the sleeve of bomber jacket, as well as on its back, are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. Let's shake his hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting for your name. Um... Okay, how good is the... Okay, we could... We could just invent a name for ourselves. Um, I don't really know my name, just call me Officer. I'm gonna invent a name. Why not? Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange. Like a forest fire looming on the horizon. But mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. Okay, so succeeded, but uh, we didn't quite manage to do it. Oh, we have a minus one modifier, I guess. I'll, I'll get into the system the more I play it. I'm sure I'm gonna get uh, quite familiar with it as we go along. Let's just, should we just say it? Yeah, why not? Okay, then. 
Okay, good. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. Um, okay, cafeteria manager, no I haven't. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. You're taking me for someone else. Let's just ask If that. you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Yes, the police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. What interviews? I have, yes, I haven't. What interviews? At Let's 57, just go for we'd that. I'd like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest and then just skim the surface. Prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. Um, well, then I okay. haven't. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Mm, nope. So the body is still in the tree where oh, it, it has sure been is. hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? How can you be so sure I'm from the police, but I can't remember anything? What were we supposed to do again? Uh, let's get going. Uh, I can't remember I anything. I can see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse. Much worse. Oh boy. <laughs> If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? How can you be sure? Let's let's just go for that. I was sent here to meet How a detective sure? from Precinct 41. You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. All right. I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. Inspectorate General means internal affairs. What he's saying is he's not from the rat squad and isn't supposed to suspect such things. All right, then... Um... Okay, let's let's not anger him. Let's just let's just go. Uh, let's just go with that. Yes, but I'm not them. I'm from criminal investigation. You said insignia. These white rectang uh, rectangles. You mean? Of. Uh, yes. But they're just they're white not rectangles. Just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the street grid of Ravachol West. I would ask you to step into the headlights of my motor carriage, but again, it's none of my concern. I just need you to do your job. But shouldn't I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? It was not on me when I woke up. Um, I have my badge, I'm a policeman and I have my badge. Let's, let's be honest Losing here. Your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I would advise you to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Okay, let's After go then. You, officer. Okay, so we have two tasks. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Oh, okay. Wonderful.